Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 30th, 2023. So on Friday, we had really disappointing economic data, but that didn't bother the market. It continued to push to the upside or rebounded to the upside in a relief rally. And this morning, we're getting a little bit more pop to the upside because we have a tentative agreement on the debt ceiling between the president and the speaker. Now we're going to have to find out with the wrangling and everything that's going to go on in Congress, can they get it passed by Wednesday? So with that, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Welcome back to a another week of, well, a shortened week of data coming out this week that could provide lots of volatility uh, to us in the market. So let's take a look at these diamonds charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see, we rallied back up here, and I haven't turned this line red yet, as you can see. Um, the only way I'll turn that red is if this failure here actually fails in that area. So this morning we're trying to cross back up, and with the volatility that we've seen this um, lately, we could easily cross right back up in here, a hold, and then continue to move on higher. So watch that closely here today. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration here today, pushing up on the hopes of, you know, a debt ceiling resolution, well, let's watch this area right up in here. I think we've got some resistance right here in this area if they can push on through up to there. Now that would be a pretty substantial move to the upside, but it's certainly doable the way the market's been acting lately. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration today, and notice that there is that possibility that they could running into that resistance in this gap up uh, morning that we're looking at, then I would look for a pullback. And that pullback could be a little bit painful because remember the next support level in that chart is all the way back down here. And I'm not suggesting we're going to go there, but just that uncertainty about getting through the debt ceiling deal. And then of course on Friday, we just had that terrible uh, data, um, economic data that came out with um, our core PCE number rising, which probably puts the Fed back in the decision mode as to whether or not they're going to raise or continue to raise rates again. So watch that closely. Now, if we were to take a look at our technicals here in the chart, notice that we're pushing up toward that 50 day moving average. And we've got a short term moving average squeeze right over the top. So we'll wanna watch that carefully. Once again, as we approach that resistance level, we could find a little bit of bearish push in there. And remember, that would also constitute a possible lower high, followed by a lower low, continuing that downtrend here in the chart. Not saying that's going to occur. It was a nice hold of the 200 day um, this last week. So maybe we're done going down. I don't know, but watch that closely. Now let's take a look at our spy. No pullback really of any consequence here in the SPY. As a matter of fact, we broke that little trend, pushed right back up. New highs were breaking out this morning, just really ripping all on the back of the tech giants. Tech giant hope and the big AI push here in the market when we really don't even know what that means yet and what that's going to look like it doesn't seem to matter we're just charging forward um, uh, hard charging forward um, in ai and kind of doing it blindly because we don't know what the ramifications are this uh, of this are whether or not there's going to be substantial regulation coming we just don't know what we don't know, but it doesn't seem to bother the market at all. So looking um, at this, if we can continue to see this inspiration here in the market, remember we've got some resistance up here in this chart. 
coming up into this area now that was just that little gap down area here in the chart that could provide a little bit if we can push through there then we're coming up into this area which would be a big substantial move to the upside and it would have to be a complete acknowledgement that we don't care about what rates are we just want to pump the big techs higher we'll see now trend is certainly bullish there's nothing here to suggest any bearishness but if the bears were to push back today then maybe a push back down in here to retest this area as, as support in the chart other than that don't see any other uh, bearishness here in this chart technicals and the spy are extremely strong um, unfortunately it is such an unbalanced rally because it's mostly all just a handful of tech giants and we're talking about eight or so of the giants out there lifting the entire market where everything else isn't looking quite so good but that being said maybe we can continue that move to the upside if we look at the qqq well i'm going to say qqq is the most overextended at the moment and the most um worrisome if it were to come to a correction or a pullback we are going absolutely parabolic here in this move again on that ai hope that we still don't know what that's going to look like but keeping an eye on this there's the next resistance level in the chart there in the qqq um a reasonably strong um resistance level here and after such an extension um uh, no reason to believe why we can't tag that but also no reason to believe that the bears couldn't pull in from here or come back in from here and look for a little resting pullback um, in this now remember the whipsaw is certainly possible in here although we could also just kind of rest and consolidate in this area pretty parabolic in this move a lot of the big techs have pe ratios that are just out of control um, but nobody seems to care about that at the moment so just keep a close eye on here in the nasdaq technically no problems here no worries other than just uh, very parabolic very stretched in the short term um, on the QQQ. So you do have to wonder what happens if the if the NASDAQ corrects, if it pulls back. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM also had a good day on Friday, rallying back up. We rallied back up to that resistance level in the chart. The good news is that we held this support down in here and this right here, I think I'm going to have to turn this green today because we did hold that area as support. So we'll watch that carefully. And if the bulls can continue to find inspiration in here, well, that next level, we're kind of gapping to it this morning to see if we can break through this little resistance level here in the chart. I shouldn't say little. It goes across the chart a long ways. And if we can break on through there then right up there to retest that bigger level in the chart if the bears were to find inspiration here today for iwm then i would suggest about the only place we can go is right back down into this area of the chart for that retest of support let's take a look at our vix now our VIX on Friday pulled back pretty substantially with that rally. And it was interesting to me that as bad as the economic data was, we just had no concern on that on Friday. Now what that does is I think it opens us to that possibility that maybe we um, have a, um, you know, we buy the rumor, we sell the news kind of thing. Um, the fact that we've got a deal and we're gapping up this morning, I would watch carefully for the possibility of a whipsaw here this morning or even that possibility of a pop and drop that we've kind of extended the text so far I would watch for that possibility in here but looking at the VIX as you can see pulling back there's no fear here in the market back down below that 18 handle in the chart just no fear at all we're just really hard driving on the AI possibilities here in the market and kind of ignoring the rest of the circumstances out there that we've yet to deal with like inflation. So keep an eye on that. If those bulls continue to find inspiration, then let's look for a retest down in here. If the bears find inspiration, well, maybe we bounce 
off of this area and come back up here to retest this area of price resistance. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122, well, this guy is really pumped up here really quick on Friday, came right back up here to the mid range of the chart. So what does that tell us? Well, tells us right now that the market is kind of straddling the fence, meaning that we've got about an equal weight to an upside move and a downside move, depending on whether the bulls or the bears are inspired today. So right now I'm going to give the edge to the bulls because of the news. But once again, I want to remind everyone there is that possibility that we could suddenly begin to think about this inflation situation and we could pop and drop on the day or have a substantial whipsaw. So watch that carefully. Looking at our T2107, T2107, the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average. And you guys can see this is the problem that we're dealing with. The majority of stocks are not doing all that great while we have a handful of big techs really driving the market. So keeping in mind, we did rally here off these lows on Friday substantially, but we are still moving in a downtrend and we still have this big old ugly head and shoulders pattern here to contend with in the chart. 38, 39% of the stocks holding above the 200 day. We're getting the impression that we are uber bullish in the market, but it's only a head like eight or 10 big techs doing most of the work where the rest of the market is kind of languishing here without much love at all. So watch that carefully. And then if we look at our T2108, the percentage of stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, well, you'll notice on Friday with that big move to the upside in, in in tech, notice that we barely moved the number of stocks above the 40 day moving average, coming up to 38, 30 or 36, 37 percent of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. And we're continue to stay stuck below this resistance and yet still struggling here on that metric. So watch that close. And our T2101, well, T2101 moved on up and notice that we've hooked over here and that could be just that little clue. Now the news could change that. The news on the debt ceiling could change that. But this is that little clue here that maybe momentum for that upside was starting to shift at the end of the day. We're trying to pump through that this morning with the pre-market gap, but that gap could also be the end of that energy. And then we start thinking about what happens next with um, inflation and some of these jobs numbers coming out this week. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our uh, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things here today but it just kind of ramps up as we go through the week. First off, we're gonna start off here today. We've got um, Case Shiller home prices. We'll wanna keep a close eye on that. Um, we've got the FHFA um, house price index, not one of those things that normally moves the market. Then we've got consumer confidence coming in at 10 o'clock. Dallas Fed Manufacturing Survey. These numbers have just been so horrible in manufacturing and the market doesn't care. Um, we'll see how much longer they can continue to not care uh, about that. And then we have uh, three six month bond auctions in here and we have a Fed speaker at one. As we look through the week, let's just take off the the high points here along with some Fed speak. We've got Chicago PMI job openings report. Got that beige book in here. ADP numbers will be coming out. Our weekly jobless claims, productivity and costs, PMI manufacturing. Um, number coming out, construction spending, natural gas, and petroleum status, along with the Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. And then on Friday, we have the big one of the week, and that's that employment situation number coming out. So we'll want to keep an eye 
out for that heading into Friday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar doesn't have a, a whole lot on it today. And it's just one of those things we're winding down on the earnings. So I'm gonna uh, cover all the notables here this morning. Um, let's keep an eye on AMBA. AMBA will be reporting today. It looks like a nice gap up, putting in a little bit of a shooting star here in the pre-market. Watch that closely on its earnings reports. Box will be reporting today. It's been moving in a downtrend, not feeling all that sparky here this morning. So keep an eye on that. CGC, a little bit of cannabis in here. Now, I put this on the notable list, but honestly, it's not notable. Um, you know, we're under a dollar here. There was so much hope and hype on these for so long, and now. Uh, you know, I guess we're finding out that if you are in the legal cannabis business, it's pretty hard to make a profit um, with government regulation. Um, big surprise there. And then if we take a look at um, HPE, HPE rallying to the upside here this morning on a little pop in the pre-market, pushing right into that downtrend, little shooting star starting to show up in there. Watch that resistance in the chart. If we can break through here and hold, that could be a game changer for uh, for Hewlett. So watch that. And then we've got HPQ that will also be reporting. Got a pop and drop here this morning on that, but still holding above a resistance in the chart. So that could be a game changer here for HPQ. See if that can um, hold up in that chart. Last but not least, SPWH. Whoop. Let's get that. There we go. SPWH. Little disappointment here in this morning. A little pop and drop going on in the pre market. Obviously, pretty ugly chart here at the moment. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful to you, if you could also do me that favor, and that would be click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment. Remember, it's the engagement with the channel that makes the most difference. So commenting, clicking the thumbs up buttons of other comments, commenting on other folks' comments, um, that helps the channel to grow. And thank you to everyone who does share this video out on your social media feed as well. That helps a lot. And thank you to everyone who supports the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. You guys are truly awesome. I, I never would have imagined that there would have been this much support for um, this type of content without a whole bunch of hype and a whole bunch of prediction where we're just looking at the technicals of the chart. And uh, I wanna thank you all so much for supporting this content because I do truly appreciate it. And remember, there's really nothing special about this. This is the pre-market work that I have done for years and years and years. And I've been able to trade full-time now, um, way over 20 years full-time. And I just really appreciate um, that there are so many folks that um, appreciate this content as well. So thank you so much. Let's take a look at uh, some stock setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful and make sure that you are comfortable with the positions that you're in. They fit your personal trading style, your rules of management. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at DraftKings. Um, uh, brick and mortar casinos continue to have some major problems, yet um, online gambling um, seems to be holding up really, really well. So take a look at DraftKings. We're still hanging in here. We lost a little bit of ground here on uh, last week, pulling back. But I think as long as we hold above this area in the chart, 
build some support in there, DraftKings might be something of interest. So I would keep an eye on that. Looking pretty decent overall. Take a look at Fubo. Now I was thinking Fubo was about ready to get going here to the upside and try to break this downtrend, but doggone it, we just weakened here uh, enough. And this is just another one of those examples. If it's not a tech giant, they're not moving all that well. But having said that, if we can hold some price support in here on this chart, right in this area and bounce back up, we may need a little bit more backing and filling for consolidation. Still, I think it's worthy for that list to be paying attention to. Let's take a look at RIG. Now, RIG is um, trying here. We've got this situation going on here in the market where we've got um, oil trying to move to the upside here a little bit, trying to get get going. We've got OPEC threatening more uh, more cuts in production, but we're also battling that demand destruction problem here in the market. But that said, we've got rig trying to hold a higher low in here. So I would keep an eye on this. If this can hold in this area, I'd be looking for that up next upside opportunity if that can pop in that chart and i'm also going to put some of the other oil stocks on here um, the same like uh, valero energy a refiner taking a look at um, um, halliburton trying to make that higher low in here we've broken uh broken up through this support if we can hold that higher low that'll be important now one thing we will have to keep in mind as we're watching some of those commodities is what's going on with the u.s dollar u.s dollar has just gotten super strong here recently rallying into a resistance in the chart and now seeing maybe just a little pullback here this morning so watch that close if the dollar weakens we should see commodity prices improve so if that weakens look for your gold silver look for steel um, look for food commodities those kind of things to strengthen if this pulls back. And this could also have some pretty substantial ramifications for energy stocks. If we take a look at XLE, boy, it's struggling in here, but we've rallied up and pulled back. Let's watch that carefully in this area to see if we can find some buyers. And then if we look at some of the natural gas, Boy, natural gas was starting to make that nice move. And I have a bias on this because I'm holding a small position looking for this to turn into a longer term position. Um, if the dollar weakens, that could help us here in natural gas. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at a few others. Take a look at Carvana. Carvana, um, nice alert here in the chart popped up on Friday trying to break through trying to show some bullishness here this morning in the pre-market I'd watch for that for a potential breakthrough to the upside taking a look at Wayfair Wayfair doing the same thing trying to break up out of this bottom notice we've been kind of choppy consolidating move to that upside trying to break through here in Wayfair certainly worth paying attention to and then of course if you're looking at some of the big techs out there um, I, I would say you you're gonna have to be really careful if you're buying these or holding these because this is just so parabolic you cannot rule out the possibility of a quick and substantial pullback in these charts so be kind of careful out there on some of these they are really extended the PE ratios here in um, some of these stocks are ridiculous how much longer we can continue continue to drive this i don't know but watch those closely if they do start to pull back that could be a little bit of a problem for the market because as big as they are and as hard as they have pushed to the upside just realize that it is still a very very huge stock and when it starts to come down it's going to have a sizable impact on the indexes so watch that carefully with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks for being here i truly appreciate it on this short week i want to wish you the best of luck and we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a great day everyone